Back on the street, we now switch things up. What'll happen if we change Karat's appearance? She now wears a hijab, a traditional scarf associated with the Islamic faith. How do you do this? And now Karat is left alone to sort out that flat tire. Some people say they didn't notice Karat was having a problem. Others tell us they simply don't know how to change a tire. It's impossible. I can't even get this on this part. But then along comes a friendly face. Hello. You need help? I would love some help. Thank you so I'm much for stopping. Flat tire or what? Uh, yeah, I have a flat tire. You have the spare, so you yeah. shouldn't take a long time. I'm just confused as to why so many people have just been walking by. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, maybe people busy. Maybe it's okay. lunch hour. You think that's what it is, or do you think it's because of my job? I hope, I hope not. With that, he decides to share something personal. Some people harass my friends if they have a scarf or beer, and they start to say, oh, September 11, 9-11. Oh, wow. Yeah. And where are you from? Originally from Palestine. Wait, have you felt anything like that personally? Sometimes we do. When I'm with my wife, she wears scarves too. She wears hijab? Yeah, she wears hijab. Mm -hmm. So hopefully one day they will know that uh, we are all American Muslims and this stereotype and racist, it's yeah. very unfortunate. But hopefully things will, uh, will get better. Sometimes I feel maybe I shouldn't wear this. Absolutely not. Don't lose your identity because it's a test. No, hold on to your hijab, hold on to your faith. There is a burden on us as Muslims here in the West to be patient and set the good example. Time for us to ease this particular burden. Why did you stop? It felt like my instinct kicked in. If someone needed help, of course I'm gonna help her. And he was not alone. I would love some help. As the day goes on. Thank you so much for stopping. People from different races oh. and backgrounds stop and help. I'm just like so impressed that you actually stopped because people have been just walking right by. No way. People are just too focused on themselves and are just sort of jerks a lot of times. I don't know how to do this. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to change this tire. But we were surprised when that help came from an unlikely place. Hello. You want to help me here? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice of you. I think I did. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how to change a flat tire. Have you changed one before? Oh, many times. Freddie Farris is 80 years old. He's a man struggling to walk, but he doesn't think twice about offering his assistance. I really appreciate you uh, stopping and trying to help me out here. I don't think I'm much help. I mean, if you want to just tell me, I can do it, because I need to learn how to do this anyway. There it is. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. So how can you stop for me? Well, you look like you was in disaster there with that fat tire. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for that. Glad I can help. You, okay. And we're glad to meet... Hi, sir. Freddie. How you doing? We wanted to see if anybody would stop and help her if she had a flat tire. Mm -hmm. And you did. Tell us why. That's the only decent thing to do is help. Did it matter that she was dressed the way she was, that she is a Muslim? No, I, I don't look at those things. You don't see those things? No, I just see people. You see somebody in distress, you help them. It's a simple, heartfelt message. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> We're all just here to help each other and keep moving down the road.